What is going on guys, Arava here and welcome to the start of my F1 2015 career mode. Oh damn it, that, that, that just feels good to say, just really does. But we're starting off with our F1 2015 career mode, the championship season. And as you can see by the title and probably the thumbnail, we're going to be driving as Sebastian Vettel. Now there was much uh, debate in the comments, there was much kind of wondering in the comments for the past few weeks who I would choose and I've chosen Sebastian Vettel. I'm not going to go into long details into this video why I've chosen him. I know a few of you would have maybe wanted me to choose Jensen Button and that was one of my options, but I... I'll leave a comment below underneath the video fully explaining why I'm choosing Sebastian Vettel So if you want to actually know why I've chosen him then go read the comment below that I put below I won't kind of waffle on at the beginning of this video of why I've chosen him But we are going to choose him for this start of our F1 2015 career mode season one We're doing championship season mode So if you didn't know for career mode in F1 2015 there are two different options Championship mode and pro season mode now pro season is the one that locks you into 100% races the cock Pit view, no hood, all assists off. So I might do that later on down the line in maybe a month or two or something like that. But for season one, at least, we're going to be doing the championship season, basically just the normal career mode, essentially. Apart from compared to other years before, previously in the Co-Masters F1 franchises, this time you choose a driver to drive as instead of putting your own name. So we've chosen Sebastian Metal, of course, Legend AI as usual. And for this first episode, we're actually going to go completely all assists off, even the racing line. I know, I know, crazy for me. If you've been subscribed for a long time, you know that I pretty much run all assists off apart from that corner line, which because I just I just never learn the circuits. But Australia, I know pretty well. Before I started recording this career mode, I did about an hour of time trial just to get used to the handling and everything, just so I wasn't a complete muppet when we started this career mode. And I feel confident enough for at least Australia to turn off the racing line as well. So we're going completely no assists for this one. So uh, yeah, this one be hopefully a good representation for you guys if you haven't got this game yet or if you're still waiting for your game to arrive to your house uh, to wait waiting to play it hopefully this will be a good indication of what it's going to be like but yeah legend ai sebastian vettel for season one of this career mode i cannot wait to get into it and it's also the first time i'm doing ferrari on this channel as a career mode as well so i am just so pumped to start this career mode off season one let's do this you're going to be seeing so much content from me guys over the next few weeks i just can't wait so let's hit it round one melbourne Round one of the Formula One season begins today with practice here in a wet Melbourne. The teams will put behind them the issues from pre-season testing. What matters now is what the teams do this weekend. Joining me in the commentary box this season is Anthony Davidson. The teams will be visiting tracks across five continents as they battle it out for both the drivers and the constructors championships. What race on the calendar do you think the teams will have a special eye on this year? Well, I think the teams will be looking forward to the Mexican Grand Prix, which is being held back at the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez in Mexico City. It was last run way back in 1992. This year sees Honda return to the sport, reforming one of the greatest partnerships in F1 history with McLaren. Do you think they can rekindle the success they had during the 80s and the 90s? It won't be easy, but yes, I think so. It's been a tough few years for McLaren with the loss of Hamilton, Mercedes withdrawing as a shareholder and major investor in the team, and losing technical director Paddy Lowe. This could mark the start of their return to prominence. So here we are finally in Sebastian Vettel's Ferrari for the Australian Grand Prix here in free practice. We've got 30 minutes of practice coming up. We've got a 20 minute qualifying and then a 50% race. So you'll be seeing highlights of all those sessions right now in this video today. But uh, yeah, I practice, it's chucking it down as you can see uh, just in the distance, uh, intermediate conditions. So I don't know how important this session is going to really be. I think qualifying in the race is going to end up being dry. So I don't really know how much important running we're going to do in this practice session. But as I said earlier, in the video i did about an hour of time trial before starting this career i just get kind of used to the handling and whatnot so in terms of that i don't think we'll need too much practice on the circuit to just get straight into qualifying but here just watching nico rosberg leave the pits there as he leaves and you can see on the monitor you can see it now you can see all the drivers and the name tags leaving the circuit and now we're going to we're going to the setup for the the tablet for the little setup now which is new for 2015 as you can see there intermediate conditions right now but we'll just look at the setup just tweak a few things i've already got 
got already two setups saved for Australia while I did my time trials. I did time trials just in different circuits like Australia. I believe I did. I tried one at Spain and whatnot. But uh, yeah, just need to fiddle around with it. I felt the Ferrari needed a lot more front brake bias, especially at Australia at least. But you know, obviously, very very new to the game. I've done at least just like an hour or so at max before recording this episode. So definitely very raw and new to this game. So I guess uh, you know, you guys will be coming along with me for the journey, learning and trying to get faster and faster at this game. So uh, Legend AI, I think that's going to be quite a challenge at the start of this career mode. I think as we progress through the career mode, I think you'll see me get faster and faster and get a bit more comfortable with the Legend AI. But definitely the usual trend with all F1 games is, you know, everyone pretty much starts off thinking the Legend AI are just completely unbeatable. And then by the end of the season, you know, you, you could end up with a really nice win. So we'll see what it, what it goes. But just showing you a little highlight of practice here. It was a pretty useless session, as I said before, because it was intermediate conditions. Uh, qualifying looked like it was going to be completely dry and the race as well. So, but anyway, enough of practice now. We're going to get on to the qualifying, the real business here for the first episode of Career Mode. Welcome to Melbourne, where qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix should be getting underway shortly. We'll soon learn the true performance of these cars out on track. What can we expect to see in the following session? Well, I think we're all expecting the Mercedes power unit to be particularly strong this year, so I wouldn't be surprised to see them at the front. But I wouldn't discount Red Bull or Ferrari just yet. We know they have the talent and the resources to react to any problem, so although they may be playing catch-up, I would expect them to bring some major upgrades pretty early, maybe before we even get back to Europe. So here we are in qualifying, ready to do our business. We're going on to our first flying lap here, right at the beginning of the session indeed, because as you can see, it's very overcast conditions right now. And the weather meter was telling me that it may rain at the end of the session. So obviously I thought, you know, be safe for just getting all the lap times right at the beginning, you know, before it even maybe starts raining a little bit. Uh, so, you know, we're just trying to do our best, right? Really, so through that first corner, wasn't too great, went a little bit wide and went very squirrely on the exit there. I uh, just need to try and get used to the power, kind of, and down to that tricky braking zone of that hairpin. That hairpin is really quite tricky on this year's game with the braking. Uh, I'll talk later. I'll talk later on in the video about the kind of handling and more about it. Obviously, you guys want to know what that's like. But we'll go and continue on with this qualifying lap. We've cut on to the very end now. It's been a pretty solid lap actually. It felt very, very good. So we'll come through now, and I think obviously it'll be fast lap of the session so far. But I believe in the end it got me sixth place by the midway uh, point of the session. And then later on in the session, actually, I felt the need to actually just go on board with Danica Fiat. He was in seventh, so that was right behind me. So I wanted to see if he was going to beat my lap time uh, on course. So he goes through there. He doesn't beat it. He stays in seventh place. So that's quite good for me that I stayed in sixth place. Then later on in the session, uh, actually getting towards the end, four minutes to go pretty much. As you can see, I'm still on the soft tyres. So actually, that weather report was completely wrong. Didn't start raining. But unfortunately, I went wide there on the gravel. So I just ended up, you know, just quitting the session and just retiring. So we're going to end up in sixth place for the first race of this career mode session at Melbourne for the Australian Grand Prix. Let's go to the race. It's nearly five o'clock here local time and welcome to race day here in Melbourne, Australia. The cars are on the grid and they should be setting off shortly for the formation lap. What a great start to the season for Nico Rosberg. He's on pole for today's race. He'll be delighted with how qualifying went yesterday but knows there's a lot of hard work to come before he can secure that race win. Well, Nico will be focused on the task at hand. He's on pole position, he's proven his speed, and if he can just stay out in front, he should be able to create a gap. So I think he's got a good chance of victory today, as long as he has no car issues along the way. It was a disappointing day for Fernando Alonso yesterday. He's starting further down the grid than he would have liked, but he'll still be hoping for a strong result today. Well, Fernando is a great starter, and he'll be looking to make up a few places on that first lap to try and get himself back into a position that he's more familiar with. So here we are for the Australian Grand Prix on the grid right now. Looking at our strategy, it's going to be a two-stop race for the option tyres around lap 8 or 9, and then around lap 17 to 18 for those prime tyres. My engineer don't, uh, doesn't think there's going to be any better strategy. So we're going to go with that, and we're going to rev up for our first career mode race here at Australia. Revving up to five red lights. This is going to be the first race in my F1 2015 career mode. And we are off, and we've had a terrible start. Did you see that on the revs there? My car completely bogged down the start, 
and we're down to 9th at the moment, 10th, 11th indeed. I never thought I'd see the sight of this AI galore overtaking me. We've gone from 6th to 11th in the span of just like one little straight and the corner. I never thought we'd see that. We haven't seen anything like that in previous Codemasters games. And we're down in 11th place. That was a shocking start. Even worse start than the ones we were getting on 2014 towards the end of our career modes there. But we're down to 11th now. Hulkenberg up ahead in 10th in his Force India. We've got Maldonado behind me in his Lotus in 12th. Can we try and catch Hulkenberg? He's gone a bit wide there. So maybe can we make maybe a little move down the inside? No, we're going to stick behind him. But look at the AI up ahead. Really scrapping away. Nazar trying to overtake a Torosso there. But we really gained on Hulkenberg through the exit of that corner. Right up his gearbox. Can we make a move down the inside of this next corner? We're going to try it. We're going to maybe make it stick. Going to squeeze him out on the exit. And yes, we do for 10th place. That was a really nice move. Late little dive bomb move there. Hulkenberg tried to maybe stick around the outside. But just squeezed him out there. And unfortunately, I wanted to try and close Nazar faster than I have. But we cut all the way into lap 7. It took me 6 damn laps to catch up to Nazar. So... Definitely, I can tell you straight away, guys, from what I've raced so far, the Legend AI are definitely, definitely much more improved. It took me six laps to catch up to Nazar. We go down the inside now of him, but he's actually going to pit, so it was really, really no use. That was pretty, that was only an easy move because he was probably uh, lifting off to go into the pit. So it took six laps to catch up to Nazar. So that was a little worrying because I'm in a Ferrari, the works Ferrari, and he's in the, you know, the Sauber Ferrari. So I should really be catching him probably a bit faster there. So definitely showing the AI much improved, or maybe I'm just still getting used to the game. Either way, it's going to be a bit tough at the start of this career mode to really try and overtake these AI in a hurry. But now on to lap eight, we're going in for our pit stop. We, I wanted to go into the prime tires. You could see there on the on the left, I uh, you know called for the prime tires, but I think it was a bit too late. So my pit stop crew just put on the option tires. No harm done. We can go into the options like they wanted us to at the beginning, and that's a nice pit stop time. You'll notice that their pit stops are now a little bit more realistic in their time. You're not just going to see a 3.6. You can go a bit lower, and hopefully we'll be seeing maybe some 2.1s if you're in the Mercedes pit crew or something like that. So now we can't to lap nine now in 13th place, but obviously people are yet to make their pit stop. Behind us, we've got Daniel Ricciardo. So I think he was ahead of us at the start. So uh, we managed to jump him somehow. So he's had a very poor outlap and inlap for his pit stop. But he's going to try and overtake us here as we overtake some people in the pit. But he's on the outside there. I can just about, can't even see him in the mirrors. I think he's on the outside of us. But he goes a bit wide. I go deep into the corner. But we still stay ahead of him. But now coming on to lap 12 now in sixth place. Ricardo right behind me now. He'll have DRS obviously. And here he comes in the slip show. I'm going to move to the outside. He's going to try and take us here. We'll see. We're going to move to Rich Mix right now to try and get some more speed in the engine. Go down the inside for turn one. Looks like he hasn't been able to overtake us, but no. Looks like he's done the switchback, and my God, Daniel Ricciardo didn't even see that coming. You couldn't even see him in the mirrors like a smiling assassin as he is in real life. He just completely did me there, did a little swap over, went around the outside of me on turn two. And he's completely done, done me there. I tried to overtake him on the outside of that hairpin. But he was having none of it. And he's up into sixth place. I'm down to seventh at the moment. So right now the AI are actually really doing me at the moment. They're really fast at the moment. So now onto lap 15. We're closed up on Ricardo. We're getting some pace back in these soft tyres. So it looks like maybe I needed to wait for the tyre to come back to me. Maybe some graining was affecting me. So now we're coming up into Ricardo's slipstream. Can we make a move down the inside? We've gone for it. We've locked up. We've banged tyres a bit. He's gone wide a little bit. But he's still got some room there. But he's backed off. We're up to the sixth place now that wasn't a brilliant move i must admit that was a bit of a <laughs> dirty move there i saw went for the dive bomb move completely locked up and uh ricardo fair play to him he gave me some room went a little bit on the grass there and i made the move for sixth place uh not too thrilled about that but he didn't he did completely back off so i'm gonna take it his ai are very fast so really when the opportunity comes i'm just gonna take it with his ai so we're into the pit stops now for lap 17 for our prime tires now the tires i wanted to do earlier but unfortunately it looks like now on 2015 if you don't make the tire call early, early enough you can't do the pit stop so that will be a bit different something I have to get used to because I was used to on the previous game making some very late pit calls for what tire I wanted so now you're going to have to make sure you do it in advance so that's something you want to note down but uh, yeah we're coming out in 13th place again now so it looks like that's sort of the place we come out and we're going to just jump back to hopefully 6th place fingers crossed uh, when we cut later on to the Grand Prix up onto the end of lap 18 now in 13th place but you can see on the mini map lots of people in the pit so hopefully this will be only up to sixth place no lower otherwise i will be pissed off so here we come through it's going to be yep there we go sixth place so back up in the sixth place unfortunately that's pretty much where we stay for the entire stint pretty much after this from lap 19 onwards the prime tires really not that great obviously they're the slower tires so really it was just about getting through the the laps and kind of pounding through 
But unfortunately from there we just had your kind of typical F1 2015 in real life race really. Didn't see anyone. Just did our own race. Just the, did the race strategy. Had to kind of try and keep the tyres alive. Just had to save, do a bit of fuel saving indeed as well. So we've come to the last lap here. You can see the checker flag has fallen. Lewis Hamilton is the race winner. Now you'll notice it says P10 right now. I can tell you I am still in 6th place. Ricardo is still in 7th place behind me. Uh, it's just a little glitch right now in the game that is going to get patched uh, after the release date at some point, hopefully quite soon. It's just a random glitch that uh, makes your position lower than it really is. But I'm still in sixth place. Uh, unfortunately, just didn't see any other cars, so we cut right onto the last lap of the Grand Prix. But I think that's pretty solid considering the terrible start we had. Getting back up to sixth place where we qualified, and that is the first race of our career mode done and dusted with Sebastian Vettel. We have equaled our you know grid position after that horrible start down to P11. I'm going to call that a pretty damn solid race to be honest and a really great result for us uh, our man Sebastian Vettel is not very happy on screen but I'm pretty happy with that result and that's the end of the first race here in Melbourne and it's Lewis Hamilton who's got the upper hand and 25 points to his name well Lewis is always someone the other drivers respect he's one of the best drivers on the grid and if he has a competitive car he'll always be near the front and he's proven that yet again today after all that excitement it's time for a lie down I think Thanks for joining us and goodbye until the next race. So yeah guys, that has been the end of episode 1 of my F1 2015 career mode with Sebastian Vettel. If you did enjoy the video, then be sure to smash the like button. It'd be absolutely awesome if you could try and get over 1,000 likes for this first episode, guys. I'm going to have a second episode out in one hour. Yep, one hour. This is going to be uploaded at 7pm. There's going to be another one at 8pm. So Malaysia is going to be out in an hour, guys. So be sure to stick around for that. If you're new around here and you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now for daily Formula 1 content. The career mode episodes are going to be flying out from this channel guys i am so looking forward to this i'm already enjoying f1 2015 so much more than 2014 after only doing two races so far so that's gonna be absolutely awesome so malaysia coming out an hour smash the like button again comment below what do you thought are you excited for this season i hope you are again if you're new around here then do subscribe i've been Arava. hope you enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you guys next time